Hello and welcome back to my garden. In today's video, I actually have been away from my garden for about four days and it is incredible how much growth you can get in just a couple of days in your garden. Since the last time I've been in here, just on my deck alone, my dill has bolted and gone to flower, which is beautiful. My broccoli has bolted, started opening up, and is starting to flower. This is actually broccolini. This is broccolini. This hasn't started bolting yet, but it's going to be harvested today. That's the main purpose for this video. I have a lot of harvesting to do today. I have to clean up this entire deck area and get ready to put in some new crops. My eggplant is doing well right here. My watermelon is doing well in the back. All the broccoli needs to come out. All of my lettuce has bolted. It needs to come out. I have a tomato hidden in here that needs a little bit of care. So it's going to be kind of pruned up. And then I have some peppers that are doing well in the front here. More broccoli that I'm going to be harvesting here. And more and more peas. This is the main part that I need to harvest today and take care of. We've had some crazy winds the last couple of days and everything has fallen over. So it's time to harvest the peas, get rid of them for the season. The cool season is gone and I will grow them again in the fall. But this is a mixture of snow peas and sugar snap peas and they are absolutely beautiful and they are loaded down with peas. So I'm gonna get to harvesting those. If you come around here, I have a couple of tiny Tims. They're doing really well right there. And I have zucchini right there it's doing great so all in all half of the deck garden is doing well the other half needs to be cleaned up the kale in the front here is also doing really well happy about that it's heat tolerant it's probably going to be just fine for the summer once i get all of this cleaned up i need to decide what i'm going to fill it with if i'm going to put more beans as you can see here the bunnies have completely eaten off these beans so they need to get cleaned up as well, decide what I'm going to put in there, if I'm going to put more beans and net it up so that the bunnies can't get to it. But overall, just in a couple of days, the garden can go crazy. Let's go take a quick look at some of the raised beds. Unfortunately, while I was away from the garden, even though we did get rain, it wasn't quite enough for some of my pots. So this sunflower is looking a little bit wilty. I'm hoping he's going to come back to life. It already is, actually. The top leaves are already looking a lot more alive. I've already watered everything today. But the rest of the garden is doing really, really well. The only other area I wanted to take you to is this area. This is where I have more broccoli and more lettuce. The heads on this broccoli are not forming, just starting to form. I don't know if I'm going to get broccoli over here. The lettuce is also bolting. I have some scarlet runners going up the deck. They're only doing okay. Unfortunately, what I think I'm going to do in this area, this is a two by four raised bed on the side of my deck. And I think I'm going to pull all this. I think this will be a great spot to direct sow beans. I'll be able to cover it with netting so that the bunnies can't get to it. And I think it'll be a really great spot for bush beans. Bush beans are super easy to grow. You can direct sow them right now. Perfect time is to direct sow them now. They're going to pop up in no time and you're going to have beans in about six to eight weeks. As you can see here, a bunny has found a home right in here behind my beans, between my beans and my tomatoes. He's been eating them down. While I do have some beans to harvest, the bunnies have taken quite a bit of them. The bunnies haven't seemed to touch these beans over here, so I do have a few green beans, a few yellow beans that I can harvest. These beans seem to pretty much be untouched, but then if you come down here to this other set of beans, you can see these have been really chewed down completely completely chewed down so that's unfortunate that I lost a lot of my bush beans to bunnies this year I'm gonna I did have them covered when they were smaller transplants I think I'm gonna have to keep the beans netted up the entire time so the bunnies can't get to them I also had bush beans over here same thing happened so 
We're gonna net up some areas, fence it off, and I am going to try bush beans again, and I think I'm gonna try it in that raised bed over there. The other area that has completely gotten out of control is this little flower tower. I intended to grow mustard greens and lettuce in this with some flowers on top. While it did okay, it wasn't the greatest for the lettuce. It just dried out way too quickly. I'm gonna clean this up as well and we're going to just fill it with flowers for the rest of the season. I do have some strawberries in here. I'll keep the strawberries and then next year I'll add more strawberries and just make this a strawberry tower. For now, we're gonna get to harvesting these peas, harvesting this broccoli, cleaning up this area specifically on the deck right now, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Here we go. Check out this harvest of peas. There are so many snap peas and snow peas in here. It is incredible. I also managed to salvage some of my broccolini, so I've got some of that. This is a beautiful harvest, one of the first of the season besides lettuce and herbs and stuff like that. So this is beautiful. If we spin around, you can see how much I've cleared out. All of the peas are gone in the back. I've cleaned out the beans. I've cleaned out all the broccolini. I've cleaned out the dill and the peas and some of the lettuce that was bolting. I've left this one in here. I'm gonna harvest it. And these ones are still okay. I need to clean it up a little bit and give it some airflow, maybe some fertilizer, some nitrogen, but this area is looking great. Now I can decide I have three large grow bags in the back. Well, four really. And I'm gonna decide what to put in there. Probably tomatoes, probably cucumbers, and maybe a zucchini. So all together I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grow bags of different sizes here that I can grow my summer crops in. Now, I absolutely love grow bags. These are fabricated, which means the air flows through them, so your roots are not gonna get root bound, which is excellent for veggies. You don't want your roots to get root bound. You want them to continue to bring up the water, the rain, the nutrients, all that good stuff. So the fabricated pots are really great for that. They also don't get waterlogged because the water will run through them. So this allows you to keep the moisture nice and strong in your grow bags. I absolutely love them. You can find them in the description box down below and you can get sizes anywhere between one gallon up to a hundred gallons. I, the biggest grow bag I have on my deck is 15 gallons and I find that is big enough to grow pretty much any veggie that you can think of. I am loving how clean this deck is looking and I love that I have new space to grow new veggies. Just a little bit of cleanup to do in the back. I kind of threw everything back there. So I'm gonna have to clean all that up, but. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out and now I get to do some more planting. Sometimes you just need a half an hour or an hour in the garden to just do one small garden task to make you feel accomplished. Try not to get overwhelmed with your gardening. Split it up every day, do something small, and then that way if you end up having to walk away from your garden for a couple of days, it won't be overwhelming and get out of hand when you get back like I had happened to me here. So the key is to do something small in my garden every single day so that it doesn't get overwhelming. And I hope that you can find a way to manage your schedule so that gardening stays fun for you and isn't overwhelming as well. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found it helpful and share it with a friend so that they can learn too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends!